center cone. Okay, get the cameras, we're good to go. All right. Hi, I'm Lawrence. You might remember me from such instructional videos as Prototype Travel Tripod. Welcome to Production Travel Tripod. The Peak Design Travel Tripod is the most portable, packable, and easy to set up travel tripod on the market. With your help, we brought it to life on Kickstarter. So a big thank you if you are one of those 27,000 backers. We redesigned the tripod from the ground up to eliminate dead volume the whole time maintaining professional stability and standard height deployment. But we didn't just stop at spatial efficiency. The travel tripod is easy to set up, it's easy to use, it's got a built-in mobile mount, and there's a ton of other thoughtful details. Plus, the travel tripod is built to last, and we give it a lifetime guarantee. The travel tripod is available in two flavors. We've got one with aluminum alloy legs, and another with carbon fiber legs. You should expect total professional stability from either of these tripods, but, the carbon fiber does deliver a little bit more stiffness and a little bit better vibration damping. So if that's what you're after, this might be the tripod for you. For those of you out there who like some stats, the carbon fiber is a multi-layered 3K twill weave. The aluminum alloy is 6061 T6 anodized aluminum alloy. It's the same aluminum alloy that they use on the Starship Enterprise. So both the aluminum and carbon fiber travel tripods have a collapsed length of 38.5 centimeters or 15.2 inches. Their max height with the center column down is 131 centimeters or 51.6 inches. And with the center column all the way up, the max height is 153 centimeters or 60.2 inches. Now in low mode, which we'll show you in a little bit, the travel tripod gets all the way down to 14.2 centimeters tall or 5.6 inches. Okay, let's check out what's in the box. Here's the box. What a box it is. Uh, Joey and I actually did the packaging design on this one. So let's take a quick look around all the sides. That's me. Oh, what is this? Peak Design is a member of 1% for the planet and this product is climate neutral certified. All businesses can be climate neutral. Visit climateneutral.org to learn more. It's cheaper and easier than you think to go totally carbon neutral. Let's open it up. So the first thing you're gonna notice is this bag. This bag comes from the Peak Design Soft Goods Studio. It's got thoughtful design details, which we'll go over in a little more detail in a little while. But first, let's take this tripod out. You get a tripod, good, you paid for a tripod. You also get a Peak Design standard plate Attached to the leg is a removable holder with this absolutely beautiful hex wrench tool. Attached to every tripod is also this super thorough and beautifully designed hang tag. So be sure to hold on to that. It's got a lot of useful info that we're going to cover in this video, but this is a great resource to keep. Now also included, but already installed, is the removable load hook and the hidden mobile mount. Also included with every travel tripod inside the little hidden compartment in your bag is a bushing removal tool. So we're gonna show you how to use this for maintenance in a following video that's all about maintenance of your travel tripod. So go look for that video if that's what you're looking for. So we'll go over each of these in more detail when we run through using the tripod. But first let's walk you through all of the different parts. All right, so starting at the very bottom, we've got our rubberized, grippy, non-slip feet. Something cool we found out during the design phase is that the feet of a tripod do a lot of the work in damping vibration. So we tried a bunch of different materials. This is Shore A60 thermoplastic polyurethane. Right above that, we've got our low profile cam levers. These levers are tuned specifically to be easy to open, but designed in a way that you don't accidentally deploy them. We'll show you more about that when we run through using the tripod. Above the cam levers, we've got five sections of leg nested within each other. At the top of the legs, we've got the leg angle adjusters. And these are gonna be useful when you go into low mode, which we'll show you in a little bit. The three legs are attached to the hub, and inside the hub, you'll find the center column. On the front of the hub is the deployable center column adjustment knob. And nested perfectly inside of all of that, the compact ball head. To use the center column adjustment knob, simply pull it out, loosen, then tighten, 
and either leave it out if you're going to be doing more adjustments or push it back in to become low profile again. It's got a magnet and a little detent in it, so it's one of the most satisfying little fidgety things we've ever built. Now we'll go through each part of the ball head. So the main feature is the omnidirectional adjustment ring. It's easy to grip, feels beautiful when you're using it, and it controls the full articulation of the ball head. Above the adjustment ring is the locking ring, which keeps the quick release from being usable. Now on the face, we've got this cool etched pattern. The dimensions are ARCA compatible. Of course, it comes with the Peak Design standard plate. We've got these two pins on the top of the head that you can remove using the included hex wrench, and that makes the tripod L bracket compatible. Additionally on the top, you'll see we've got a bubble level, so you could set the legs to be level before you deploy the center column, or attach the camera using the four-way standard plate in a way where you can see the bubble level, but we'll show you that in a little bit. You might notice a little seam in here. What that seam is, is that you can actually detach the upper center column and ball head, and that comes in handy both with our universal head adapter or putting the travel tripod into low mode. And we're gonna show both of those in a little bit. So, let's use this thing. The first thing you have to do is install the standard plate on your camera. I got my 5D, we got the standard plate that came with the tripod, and I'm gonna get out our beautiful little hex wrench. The hex wrench is folding, and it's got two heads. One is 2.5 millimeters, and the other is four millimeters. You can put that standard plate right onto the bottom of your camera, use the four millimeter end, and tighten it down. The two arms of the hex wrench give you a lot of leverage when you're tightening down the standard plate. We've talked about it in a few places, but we're big fans of our standard plate. We've taken years to develop it to the point where it is right now. The things we like about it are its low profile design and that it's got unbelievable torque input, which gives it great holding power on the bottom of your camera. We've gotten some questions in the past about why there's not a D-ring or a coin slot. And the answer is, this is a very important connection in any of our systems, whether it's on the tripod, the strap, or the capture clip. And so we wanted the strongest connection possible. We had a lot of fun designing this hex wrench. We got some good feedback from our backers during the Kickstarter campaign. And one of the main pieces of feedback that we were answering was that it would be really great if you could have a hex wrench that was with you at all times. So it's low profile, as is the removable clip that goes onto any of the three legs. This clip comes right off. If you want to install it, just start with this long end, hook it on, and then push it, and you've got it on there. And then when I collapse the legs, you can barely tell it's there. Additionally, the hex wrench has a little eyelet at the top, so you could put an anchor through it or attach it to a key ring. All right, so standard plate installed, hex wrench stowed. Let's move this table aside and deploy the tripod. So the way I like to deploy this tripod is to start by undoing all four cam levers on each leg at the same time. Again, that's all four levers at one time in one easy motion. So now I grab the feet and deploy the legs. The tripod sets up in seconds. So my 5D still has that standard plate on it. I'm gonna tow it in and then push down on the back and the camera is quickly installed. So after installing the camera, I can quickly tighten the locking ring. And what that does is both keep the quick release from deploying and it eats up some of the play and makes the system more stable. Now I can deploy, loosen, and raise the center column and get it to a nice comfortable height. So once I'm at this point, I'm gonna put my right hand on the grip of the camera and my left hand on the adjustment ring, and that way I can quickly find my shot. And I like to keep the shutter on a two second delay because if there's any vibration still going on, most of that's gonna be eaten up in those two seconds. The ball head is designed to also quickly get you into portrait mode. You can see on the bottom of the head that the cutouts allow for you to quickly turn over with the grip up and the shutter easily accessible into portrait orientation. If the shot you're looking for in portrait mode 
isn't afforded to you by these cutouts. You just have to remove the camera and insert it in one of the other directions. So like I mentioned a little bit earlier, our standard plate gives you four-way entry into the travel tripod. So you can insert it normally, or you can put it in three other directions. Uh, that's useful if you're in portrait mode and you need a little more range, or if you want to install a camera in a way where you can see that bubble level while you're shooting. Something else that's pretty neat about our tripod is that you can shoot straight down. You can also get a downward orientation by inverting the whole center column. So let's check out how you do that. So to invert the center column, you just remove the hook, loosen the adjustment for the center column, pull the whole thing out, reinsert it from the bottom. You can reattach your hook so you don't lose it. And then I would tighten this thing up Oops, really good. So now I can shoot down or I can shoot to the side, which is useful if I were to lower some of these leg sections and maybe I have a macro lens or something like that, I can be right off the ground. That's pretty cool. Another way to get super close to the ground is to put the tripod into low mode. So let's check that out. The first thing you need to do is extend the center column a little bit. Then tilt the head to 90 degrees. And what you'll be doing is exposing a little hole at the top. Take your hex wrench and using the four millimeter or the bigger of the two, put that into the hole at the top of your head and you'll feel it with a little rotating enter into a little screw down there and just start loosening. After about six or seven turns, the head comes off along with the top of the center column. Now you can remove the rest of the center column and set that aside. The top of the center column with the head attached can go back in and you can leave it a little bit exposed so you get articulation of the head and tighten the knob again and put it back in. Now using the leg angle adjusters, you can set the tripod into low mode. Low mode works particularly well with wide angle lenses. Uh, I've used it on some structural kind of architectural photography. Um, we use it during some product photography. Uh, I'm sure you guys could think of a lot of other cool uses. So low mode keeps the hub off the ground and it actually is still using the rubberized feet. That's where the point of contact is. I'm take the camera off. Reattachment is pretty easy. You can just take the head off, make sure to get it back at that 90 degrees, attach it to your center column, get out the hex wrench again. Uh, and there's actually gaskets inside this that keep that screw from falling out. So you don't need to worry about that. Insert the hex wrench, you know, give it six or seven good turns. And now you can reinsert this back into your tripod. Because I did it with the center column detached from the tripod, you need to take off the hook so that you can slide it back in. So we've talked about the basic functionality of the tripod. Now let's talk about stability. The most common question we get about this tripod is, is it gonna hold my gear? And the answer is yes, it's gonna hold your gear. We give the travel tripod a 20 pound load capacity, which I have never even come close to having gear that heavy. Uh, I think short of like a feature film video setup, it would be tough to approach. A setup that is pretty common would be your 70 to 200 on a full frame body. The head and legs of the travel tripod have no problem accommodating this sort of setup. Some of you out there 
probably have a bigger setup than this. So do we. Here is a Nikon D500 with a Nikon 200 to 500 lens. Pop that on. No problem. This is actually Tom's camera and lens. Uh, for those of you who don't know Tom, he's one of our engineers and he was one of the project leads on the tripod. He takes this setup out to Ocean Beach and does surf photography and does some bird photography with it as well. Um, and it was a big part of the tripod development was using this exact camera and lens combo to measure vibration damping and stiffness. So as I move this camera around, even though it's an enormous setup, I've got total stiffness from the ground up through the whole system, which is awesome. Of course, if you've got a long lens, be sure to use the foot when you're attaching that plate. Uh, that just keeps your weight more evenly distributed. For even more stability, you can use the counterweight hook down here at the bottom of the center column. Whoop! I've got a brand new version two of the everyday backpack. I'm just gonna use the top handle and attach it down here on the hook. So that's a nice way to store your bag when you're out shooting. Uh, it also provides a little more weight that we find to be super useful if you're shooting in windy conditions. So the center column adjustment knob and that whole locking mechanism is designed to withstand a lot of force. So even with a heavy weight or a heavy camera or both, you're not gonna get any slippage. So the travel tripod can handle a big camera without problems. What about that little camera in your pocket? As we mentioned earlier, every travel tripod comes equipped with a mobile mount stowed in the center column. The mobile mount was a big deal for us because we found increasingly that when we are out shooting or when our customers are out shooting, that their phones are becoming a part of that content creation. To get it out, you simply pull down and rotate on the hook. You'll see the mobile mount start to descend, but a magnet keeps it from falling out. Pull it out and you got it. Then I like to put the hook back into the center column so I don't lose it. Just push up and rotate. It'll click into place. It doesn't matter which orientation you go in, it's got three-way entry. So you can either put the phone in first or put the mount into the tripod first. I'm gonna do the mount into the tripod. That's secure. You can also use the locking ring. And then I attach my phone. Cameras seem to be the most dramatically improving part of any of these phones. Uh, plus the software that's available is pretty unbelievable too. We do a lot of time lapses with this setup um, and it's amazing. Putting away the mobile mount is just as easy as taking it out. You just reverse the steps, undo the hook, reinsert the mobile mount. It's got a magnet, so it's not gonna fall out. It also has three-way entry, so you don't have to worry about getting it lined up or anything. There's a magnet on the bottom of the hook, so it always finds the right place and it's not gonna fall. Push this whole thing up and then attach. As we were talking about earlier, the standard plate that comes with your travel tripod is the same one that comes with our capture camera clip. So the two are compatible. This is awesome if you wanna keep the camera secure on your body while you're moving around the tripod trying to find your shot. Attach it, move around, get your shot, and then you can just put your camera right back on. Capture works awesome on your belt, on a backpack strap, or on any of the mounting points that come on our bags. So check out the capture instructional for more information. To pack up, you just do it all backwards. So I like to put the legs together, undo the cams, You'll speed this up, right? Close the legs and then tighten the cams back up. Let's check out the bag that comes with the tripod a little more. So we've got the same durable nylon canvas that we're using on the rest of the Peak Design bag lineup. Uh, we've also got a little bit of padding, but what also is nice about this is that when empty, the whole thing can squeeze down pretty small. So you can throw this into your bigger bag, into your camera cube, wherever you need to put it while you're out using your tripod. And then it's ready to go whenever you need it. 
It's got a big burly zipper that you can open up. Inside, there's a little pocket right near the top. And this is gonna be where your bushing removal tool lives when you get the tripod. We're gonna talk more about that tool in a separate maintenance video. So you can squeeze your tripod in. It's designed to be a bit of a snug fit so that there's no wasted material or excess flop. So on the back of the bag, you'll see there's a handle. And because it's got two little bar tacks, there's these two other little gaps. And I'll show you what those are for right now. So I've got my everyday backpack. And the tripod inside the, its own carrying bag can easily fit into a water bottle pocket. Now, something that gives you a little more security is with Peak Design bags, there's an attached external carry strap. So I'm gonna loosen that up, set it aside, put my travel tripod in, and then I'm gonna lash this cable through that little opening I was showing you on the handle, and then attach it right here to the backpack. What I've got is a super secure connection for my really nice tripod. What's also cool is that I can get the tripod in and out of the carrying case, leaving it lashed on the side of the backpack. So if you've got a full load of gear or supplies, you don't have to be keeping the tripod inside the bag necessarily. But let's say you want to take the tripod in its bag without an additional backpack we've got a cool solution. You can take some Peak Design anchors and a Peak Design strap and turn this into a self-sufficient little carrying system. And I'll show you how. So we've got two loops on the end here and you can attach your anchors to these. The anchors of course come with all Peak Design straps I've got a leash here, but this would work equally well with a slide or a slide light. Attach the anchors to the strap. Get a satisfying little click. And then you can put the whole thing over your shoulder or do more of a crossbody carry. You can also use a Peak Design strap directly with the tripod, bypassing the bag. So get your anchors. And the two attachment points are gonna be one at the bottom on your hook and two on the hub directly below the center column adjustment knob. Just feed your anchor through, tighten it, and then do the same up on the hub. So something that I'm noticing right away is that this anchor and this anchor are not oriented in the same direction. So what you need to do is just loosen your hook, rotate it, reattach, and now the anchors are aligned. Now I like to attach the strap before I close the legs because it's easier. And now you've got a built-in carrying solution. Again, you can go over the shoulder or crossbody. So I've got it on with the head pointing down because there's more weight there and it kind of gravity wants it to be going that way. It feels nice. Uh, if you're really adventurous, you can keep your camera on there. Not for the faint of heart, but it looks pretty cool. Or if you just want a really ultralight setup and you want to go out and shoot for a little while, this is a good way to do it. Something to note about the hub is that if you lift up this leg, what you'll find is a QR code and then under another leg, a written out serial number and link. Now, what that QR code does is it opens up and pre-populates the registration page on the Peak Design website. Um, if you don't have a QR reader on your mobile phone or on your laptop, you can just go to the URL and punch in the serial number yourself. So be sure to take a moment and register your travel tripod. Uh, it gets you all set up on peakdesign.com and it essentially completes the activation of your lifetime warranty. Accessories, hmm, accessories. So if you wanna get a little bit more out of your travel tripod, we offer some accessories that are pretty cool. The universal head adapter lets you use any third-party tripod head with our travel tripod. 
The ultralight conversion kit takes your travel tripod and makes it an ultralight backpacking tripod. And the spike feet replace your included rubber feet. That's great for ice, snow, dirt, or other low traction environments. So open up the box to your universal head adapter and you will find a microfiber carrying pouch, a hex wrench, and the universal head adapter. There's two ways to install the universal head adapter. One is that you can remove the entire center column and ball head assembly and just use the head adapter with no center column. And the other way is that you can remove the top part of the center column with the ball head and replace it with the head adapter, therefore letting you use the center column and a third party tripod head. So let's swap out the compact ball head for the universal head adapter. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is extend the center column just a little bit. Then we're gonna rotate the head down 90 degrees, exposing the hole at the top that lets us get in there and unscrew this top part of the center column in the ball head. Now you can use the hex wrench that came with the head adapter, or you can use the hex wrench that came with your tripod. They're both four millimeter. You get in there, you find the screw, and you give it about six or seven good screws. When you're not using the compact ball head, you can use this included microfiber pouch to keep it from getting too nicked up. You can take your universal head adapter, get it lined up, take that four millimeter end of your hex wrench again, and screw it in. All right, that's on there good. So you'll see on the top of the head adapter, there's these three little recessed screws. And to get at them, you can use the 2.5 millimeter end of your hex wrench. And what those are for are after you've screwed on your third party tripod head, you screw these out and they will essentially lock the tripod head on there so it won't unscrew itself. So right now they're down and we're gonna keep them down. Now you take your third party tripod head and screw it on. To securely lock this on, you take the 2.5 millimeter end, you come up through the bottom and you find the screw and you open these up. You might need to turn the tripod upside down so that you can see exactly where the screw head is. And it takes about two or three turns, I find, depending on what your third party tripod head is like. So again, you do that on each of the three screws and then your tripod head is secure. Oh yeah, that's nice. This is cool because you still get all the benefits of our compact legs, even if the head is not quite as compact. Still packs down pretty nicely. So when you open up the ultralight conversion kit, what you're gonna find is a microfiber pouch and three of our ultralight feet. The three ultralight feet replace the bottom four fifths of each tripod leg and turn your travel tripod into an ultralight full featured backpacking tripod. So to install, we're gonna find the shroud above the cams on each leg. Put your thumb under the short side and just push it up and it'll come off. So you also open up your top cam and you can take out the bottom four fifths of the entire leg. Again, pop it open, open that first cam and pull the whole thing out. You're going to want to store your legs somewhere safe and also be especially careful. Sometimes the top bushing can pop off uh, and you don't want to lose that. Now you take the ultralight feet and pop them into each leg. It works really easy if you push the button up against the leg and then slide it in. There's a real big click and you'll see that the button pops out of the leg when it's on securely. ultralight conversion kit. So the ultralight conversion kit reduces the carbon fiber tripod weight by about 40% and reduces the aluminum tripod weight by about 45%. With the center column down, the ultralight conversion kit tripod deploys to 36.3 centimeters tall, while with the center column up, 
the tripod deposed to 58.1 centimeters. Remove the center column to save additional weight. Plus, you can still use the tripod in low mode with the ultralight conversion kit. So reattaching the legs is effectively as easy as just doing the earlier steps backwards. Press in on the button on each foot and pull it out. Something to be aware of, like we mentioned earlier, is that this bushing might come off. So be careful. If it has come off, what you're going to want to make sure you do is install it properly. In proper installation would have the bushing not quite flush with the top of this first piece of carbon fiber. Can you see that? So, there we go. Make sure that it's snapped on there and flush with the top. Now when I reinstall this leg, another thing I'm looking for, I just want to make sure that the hole in the outer shroud lines up with the hole in the leg. And that way I know that the bottom part of the assembly is inside the outer leg. Close the cam and snap my shroud back on. Let's repeat that two more times. And back to your factory settings. The spike feet are great if you are going to be taking the tripod out in places where you might not be able to get a good grip. Think ice, snow, dirt, etc. They also look really cool. Inside the spike feet box, you're going to find a microfiber pouch, a hex wrench, three screws, and the three spike feet. Let's install them. First thing you got to do is remove the factory feet that came with your tripod. Just use the four millimeter end of this hex wrench or the one that came with the tripod. Get in here and just loosen those puppies up. You can speed through all this, right? And now they're off. So, as we're about to install, let's grab one of these spike feet and you'll see on the bottom there's a nice little shape. And it's the same shape as on the bottom of the legs so that they're keyed to each other so that you always have the foot in the correct orientation. So what I like to do is set the tripod upside down and then using my one hand, I'm going to keep the spike foot aligned properly and then I'm going to start the screw with my other hand and using that four millimeter side of the hex wrench, just screw it in. And then I'm going to repeat that two more times. All right. So now we got the spike feet installed. The spike feet are made out of steel, so they are exceedingly strong and will give you a lifetime of use. What's also nice is that the tripod still fits in your included soft bag, even with the spike feet on. And the design team worked for a long time to figure out the right angle to make the tooth of that spiked foot so that it doesn't pierce through the bag, but it still gives you tremendous stability when you're out on those kind of rough conditions. So to reinstall your rubberized feet, you just kind of repeat the steps that we've already done. And again, something to keep in mind is that on the bottom of the rubber feet, just like on the bottom of your spike feet, they're keyed to fit into the tripod leg in only a specific direction. See on the bottom there, it's got that same shape. So I'll get that in, put the tripod upside down, and screw them in. And then you repeat that two more times. The Travel Tripod is Peak Design's most ambitious project to date. It's definitely the most complicated design that's taken the longest to develop with the most people. It's had the most testing, both in-house and with third parties. And with your help, it was our biggest Kickstarter yet. 
As someone who's used all of the Peak Design products pretty extensively in a professional setting, I can say safely that this one has brought me the absolute most delight. It continues to amaze me, and we're super excited that you've got one to use yourself. As always, if you've got any questions, reach out to the customer service team. I have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Lefty Lucen, yes. Hi, I'm Lawrence. Too hot? I, was, I said that kind of loud. I'll do, I'm gonna do kick ass one more time, then I'll do one that's lame. I think that's pretty good.